How your dream clients feel about your brand actually pulls more weight than what they think about your brand. Let that just sink in for a minute and then pair that with the fact that certain colors evoke certain emotions and suddenly it all makes sense. Your brand colors play a huge part in your ability to attract your dream clients. No worries though, I'm gonna show you my strategy for creating an effective color palette for your business. Hi, I'm Allie and I teach visual marketing strategies to help you get your business up and running online with a standout brand and website. And you can't create a brand and website without a color palette. Well, at least you shouldn't. So let's dive into how to do just that. The five color palette. I like to use a five color palette, which includes a primary color, a secondary color, an accent, a dark neutral, and a light neutral. To give you an idea of how your color palette can work on your website, let's go have a look at an example. The primary color is what you'll use in your logo and will be the glue that really holds together your look and feel. It's the main color that shines through in your branding. It's possible that your primary color is your favorite color or maybe it's a color you look really good wearing. In that case, you can show up in your bio portraits wearing it, which is a bonus. However, what's really important to keep in mind is that you need your color palette to attract your dream client and make them feel the way that you're intending them to feel. So you've got to be careful and be sure to put your personal preferences aside and really focus on your brand's personality shining through. The secondary color is used to support the primary color. You'll often see it used in the logo as well, and it will show up alongside the primary color in images and backgrounds. The accent color is used to make something stand out from the primary and secondary colors and is usually reserved for things you want to draw attention to, such as calls to action, for example. The dark neutral is mainly used for body text and the light neutral for a soft background color or an overlay. Even though you may want to use more colors in your palette than five, it's really important that you don't. It's true what they say that less equals more. By keeping your color palette simple and limiting the amount of colors you use, your brand will appear more clean and professional. And overall, it will not have that wishy-washy appearance when you don't show up consistently. And using too many colors will really dilute the overall punch that you need your brand to make in order to be memorable. So how do you go about choosing what colors to use in your palette? This is one of the questions that I get asked the most when it comes to DIY branding. And what it comes down to is a little bit of color theory mixed with your brand's personality. For example, brown evokes an earthy, reliable, and comfortable feel, while green evokes nature, prosperity, and renewal. A great place to start is to create a vision or a brand board full of images that convey your brand's personality. When you have a bunch of images together that inspire the way you want your brand to appear, you'll be able to pinpoint what colors stand out and use that as a starting point. Coolers.co is a fantastic place to go for generating color palettes. Let's say you've chosen your primary color. So you can add in the color code, lock it in, and then simply click the space bar to change out the colors and then lock them in as you find the ones that you like and that fit the best. Another tip is to add your primary color and use the shade tool to determine your dark neutral. I recommend the darkest shade and your light neutral. Now, if you're wondering, how do I find my brand personality? Then click the video that's on the screen right now and I'll teach you how to do just that. And don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now let's go get them.